Hello and welcome to another episode. My name is Manny and this is Grubbany. Today, I'll be making CMOS gel. Let's get started. This strange alien looking thing is called sea moss. Some people refer to it as Irish moss. It's been a part of the human diet for eons. It's a superfood and it's known for its immense health benefits. There are several articles out there that state that CMOS has 92 of the 102 trace minerals that make up the human body. I won't be listing out the specific minerals it contains as I am not qualified to do so. However, what I can do today is show you how to make this liquid gold. Let's get started. I like to keep the consistency of my CMOS gel the same, so I always weigh before proceeding to process it. I always keep the weight at two pounds, and I found that two pounds is usually enough to fill a glass jar. Let's move on. Place your sea moss in a bowl. We're going to have to give it a really good wash because this is coming straight out of the ocean. Sea moss by itself tastes really funky, so if you don't give it a good wash, you may end up tossing it in the trash. Also, since it's from the ocean, you probably see some traces of salt sediments nestled along its branches. Since it's currently dry, it'll be tough and elastic, but I'll show you how to soften it up. Add some water to the bowl, then wash it by rubbing it between your palms a couple of times, then rinsing it off. Repeat the process until you get rid of all of the salt and grime, then dump the water in the sink. Once you're done washing and rinsing your sea moss, the next step is to soak it in some natural spring water for the next 12 to 24 hours. Now you don't have to store it in the fridge, just make sure it's covered. So the sea moss has been soaking for about 12 hours and as you can see, it's loosened up and softened up significantly. Drain off the water and get your blender ready. If you have a very powerful blender like I do, you do not have to cut your CMOS into shorter strands. Cut it into shorter strands if you have a less powerful blender. As I mentioned earlier, I like to keep the consistency the same, so I measure everything. You absolutely do not have to. Add one cup of water to the CMOS and blend it until you get a smooth gel. This will happen within seconds. Just look at that, that's literally liquid gold. You can take it as is, or you can take it with a squeeze of organic seeded key lime juice. So organic seeded key lime juice is hard to find, so I'm just showing off my seeds here. Anyway, I take a spoon a day with a squeeze of key lime juice. Trust me, it tastes better this way. Cover it and store it in the fridge for up to two weeks. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll be making lots of alkaline recipes in the near future. Please subscribe so you can get notified once I upload a new video. Please don't forget to like this video and also share it with your friends and family living the alkaline lifestyle. As always, thanks again and I'll see you all next week.